fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 3rd of December 2022. I hope you are keeping very well. And uh, if it's the weekend for you already, enjoying your weekend. If you have the weekend to come, I hope you are looking forward to it and will enjoy it. I certainly am. Not sure how much Sudoku I'm going to get done this weekend. I'm heavily socializing on today uh, uh to both today and tomorrow monday is in fact a holiday here uh, but i have some work to do on on all three days actually but as well as uh enjoying myself so um, i'm not sure how much sudoku there will be but i shall endeavor to do my best to get a few games out um uh this is uh, what's happening in the uk oh in the guardian this morning there was a uh, a piece about keir starmer I don't know what to think about him. At first, I kind of rather liked his lawyerly style. You know, I like uh, people who have attention to detail and that kind of thing. Obviously, um, he's not very charismatic, but I actually tend to think that as, as that is rather a, rather a benefit because um, I would like us to get away from this constant kind of looking towards a leader you know it has to be more democratic why are we always talking about the leader whether it's the president in the u.s the prime minister in the uk or other countries you know why do we have to look towards individual leaders it shouldn't be like that we should be focusing more on what people can do in as a as a, as a group um which country is it? Switzerland. They have a very unusual system, don't they, in Switzerland, where they have a kind of rotating committee of leaders. Uh, I rather like that idea. Anyway, um, with Starmer, I was kind of hoping that you never can tell he might be some kind of Trojan horse. I mean, desperate to kind of achieve power uh, on a kind of right wing, you know, very centrist um, platform. Uh, he kind of rooted out any kind of... Uh, anything left from Corbyn's uh, time in the Labour Party, and then maybe he might turn out to be a bit more left when he gets in power, but that's clearly not the case. He clearly is not going to do that. And so, uh, you know, he could be, right now, he really should be making so many speeches and going forwards about the NHS and about protecting workers' rights and stuff like that, but he really isn't. He's talking about irrelevances, not irrelevancies, but things that are far less important and uh, hasn't really got the the nous to, to, to really understand what, what's important in the UK right now. Oh well, a disappointment, but never mind. Um, I don't have to deal with it too much, of course, living here in sunny Thailand. But it is uh, of worry to um, certainly uh, me and uh, other people in the UK and uh, British passport holders. Right, let's get on with today's uh, Sudoku expert level from The Guardian. I'm not going to bother to explain the rules. I will assume that because you are playing an expert level game, you already know the rules. So I will just point out to you these intersecting sevens that give us a seven in this square here. We also have sevens blocking down here and across here, which is going to put a seven there. Sevens across here and across here and a seven down is going to give me a seven like so. Over this side we have sevens blocking, if I can extend the mouse all the way up, seven up here, seven across here. So I believe there's only one more to get. Sevens across and hop, 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 hop. That's my exercise for today. Sevens are there. My exercise is going to be lifting my... Uh, cutlery to my mouth because I'm it's going to be a very big eating day both today and tomorrow so much for exercise that I was hoping to do but no nope, not allowed to sometimes you have to be uh, sometimes you have to uh, fulfill your role <laughs> in life <laughs> okay which is to be nice to people fours blocking across here that's got now four there Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, I still haven't really got to look at this um, puzzle just yet. I mean, properly look at it. Look around and see what's possible. Do, 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 do. Maybe the best way to do that is to go through the digits, just clicking and seeing what's available. It can help, I find. Uh, 
it certainly helps me here because now we I see the twos blocking across here. I'm just going to put a two in that square, two blocking up here and up here. There's our two. We have twos up these columns here with a two across, so that gives us a two in that square. Um, so before we go any further, missing numbers here are three and four. Does that affect things greatly? Are there no three? I think there are no threes on the board. How about that? It is supposed to be expert level day, so I've just discovered there are no threes on the board. Okay, how does it affect the fours? Um, hmm. Not sure yet. Ah, so no threes, huh? Okay. Uh, so I can't click on a three then, can I, to highlight it? Let's see what's going on with the fours again. Should I just re-click on this one, just um, now that I've placed the two, it might give me something else. Okay, four. Okay, so we have our five blocking down here and five across here, so we get a pair of fives in these squares, which will extend up here, and the five blocking across here. So here's our five, five across this row, and this row here is our five. Uh, five blocking across here and down here puts five into one of these two squares. We'll go leftwards with that. Five across here, five up, five down. Here's our five. Six across here and across here, so here's our six. Well, immediately I see the eight and one blocking up here now, so I know I have a pair of eight and one in those squares. So this is not eight or one must therefore be 3 and 6. Knowing that that is 3 and 6, um, hmm. okay, let's look then down here. So 3 and 6 up there, so we're looking for 4, 5 and 9. Any help? 4, 5, 9, not yet. Not yet, okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was going through bit by bit, wasn't I? Um, hmm. Let me just investigate the eights by highlighting, because I think there's... Ah, there we go. Eight up here, eight across here. So here's our eight. I will highlight, as mentioned... Uh, we've got eight blocking up here and eight across here, so we can fit an eight into that square. So now we've got um, eight definitely in these two squares here. And we've got eights like this because we have eights over here like this. So a, a very symmetrical um, pattern there, which is not necessarily good for us in Sudoku. 9 blocking across here puts the 9s down here. Do we know anything else about the 9s? Uh, yes, we do. We have 9 blocking across here and 9 down here. So here is our 9. Um... Okay, so I see 3, 4, 9 over here. This is 3 and 4 as well, isn't it? So that means 3 and 4 must be in these squares here. 
the five and the oh okay one blocking up here so here is our one so then one blocking down here and one blocking down here here is our one now I do believe I just said three and four have to be in this road didn't I uh, which would leave a five here. Let me just double check on that. We got threes here. So this can't be three. And we got four here. Yeah, this is three and four. So that has to be a five then, doesn't it? So now five up here, five down here. That puts a five into that square there. And now the five blocking across here and the five down here and five across here. Here is our five. If this is 3 and 4, this is not, and therefore it must be a 2. We have 2 blocking across here, across here, and up here. So here is our 2, 2 blocks up here, across, up here, and across there. There is our 2. Um... Okay, the four blocking down here means that four must be in one of these two squares. That means that this definitely cannot be four. That's our four. And now, ta-da, we get our first three. Okay. Um, so this is actually a four and four and eight pair here. So in here, we're looking for three, six, nine. But we don't really have any th threes, sixes, or nines across here. So there's still stuff to be done the it's not um, quite over yet um, what's going on in these two squares uh, this was three and four four right so this is one and eight. Okay. Right, I think it's a look somewhere else. Um, but maybe I should just go digit by digit and see because I've filled in a lot since the last time I did that, and this can sometimes help, as I said before. Okay, so we have one blocking across here, so one is in one of these two squares. So this can't be one, can it? And we have one blocking here, and we have one blocking here, so this is our one, then one blocking down here and across here. I just said this was one or eight, didn't I? So here is our one, and this then must be our eight. Um, three, six, nine, three, six, nine, okay. Um, We have six blocking up here, and we have six blocking across here, so here is our six. We have nine blocking across here, so here is our nine, excuse me, wrong key hit. Three will go here, and this this then will be our three here, and this is, uh, uh, what well, are you, a six? I think you are, aren't you? Okay. And over here, we will f complete this with, oh, excuse me, sorry the wrong key again uh, actually I didn't hit the wrong key I just made a mistake <laughs> I must admit oops owned up on that one nine I'm supposed to hit it with sorry uh, my my bad as American teenagers say don't you hate that using bad as a noun my bad uh, people in Thailand have started to copy it. I find it disgusting use of English <laughs> I really hate it my bad um, yeah, one, three up there, I guess. Okay. Right, let's uh, see what else. Here's a two empty square column. And so let's see what could possibly be 
fit in there. It's four and it's nine, I guess. Do we know? Uh, no, we don't. Okay, so let's not bother then. Let's not bother with that. The ones I know are over here. What else can I see? Fives we have, sevens we have, twos we have. Mm, we have all oh, the middle stuff here. Uh, what's missing from this column? We don't yet have uh, three, four, and eight, I think. So that puts the eights up here. Let's see where else the eights can go because actually we've got eights in these squares and these squares. So this is the only space where an eight can go in the middle row. If you want to check that out yourself, look, you can see all of the intersecting eights blocking the other squares. Right. Okay, now then let's have... Uh, another look at this block here. One, two, three, do we know fours? So the four blocking down here puts four into one of these two squares here. And that blocks across here. Now we have four blocking down here, so we know that that has to be a four. We have four blocking across here. I said four is in one of these squares here, four blocks down here. So here is our four. If you're wondering what that sound is, it's a brush seller quite often heard in the background of these videos or different brush sellers not always the same one that's a male voice often you hear a female voice ones across like this here's our digit one uh, not too much left to get now is there there's one empty square here what goes in there is it a nine I think it is uh, one empty square over here Please tell me to look and see what goes in there. It's an eight. Okay, so eight blocking this square here. We had eights in these squares before, so now we know that eight must go there. And now this must be filled with a three, I think. And over here then we're looking for a six, I think. Almost done now. Not much more to go, is there? Um, our three blocks across here, so that puts three into one of these squares, three blocking down here, so that must be our three. We have just one more square here to fill, which will be filled with a four. It hasn't been much of an expert day, has it, to be honest with you? <laughs> this is supposed to be expert level guardian. We wait all week for its expert level uh, attempt and we are often disappointed but actually those of us who played it regularly are not disappointed because we are not really expecting necessarily anything too tricky and therefore our expectations are tempered from the start uh, missing digits along here are what six and nine do we know six or nine we've got a blocking six here so we do indeed six will go there Nine will be here. Nine blocks back that way. So here is our nine. The missing number here is a three, I think. Three blocks across here. Here is our three. Uh, missing number from here. Six, I believe. Uh, so what have we got down here? We've got nine blocking down here, so that must be our nine. Finish up today's game with a four. Very easy, expert level game. Really doesn't deserve that title, of course. Um, but as is uh, often the case with the Guardian on a Saturday. Okay, um, I'll try to get in um, some games of Sudoku between my socialising this weekend. And uh, you could do the same, right? Uh, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.